Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Chop It Up. We're going to be working on a new format today. Try to hit fast and hard and get out the way. Um, I guess we could say that today is our hat show because Rebus Jr. had to wear his uh, Trump hat, which means that Barry had to put a hat on, and that means that I am going to put a hat on, too. So there it is. Uh... Oh, I like it. I like it. <laughs> well, I can tell you guys that personally, I've had quite an experience this week. Um, and it's all been about spending money, man. Money. There's just <laughs> never enough of it out here. God damn. <laughs> but, uh, and man, I've been getting a whole lot of spam bullshit and scam calls. They act like they're a doctor calling saying you owe money, then they're AT&T saying that there's a problem yeah. with your payment and they need some kind of independent, independent confirmation. It's just one thing yeah. after another out here. There's a bunch of crooks. The fucking world yeah. is full of crooks out here. I wonder yeah. why that's happening to you. I don't know. I bet it's you it's fun. because you sign up for all that stuff all the time. Yeah, stuff. anytime you put your email out there, everybody gets it. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. I don't give it. I have a junk that I only I use for anything store related, anything like oh, that. Oh no, they're calling my phone. They're calling my phone. Number. Yeah, even with that. So Somebody even with stores, uh, we have a fake number that we give to stores. Oh. We don't give our real number for anything that's store related or anything that you have to sign up for online. They oh. don't get our real number. I got it. Wow. I'm surprised coming from you, Michelle. I got Why? it. Why? I don't want to be that's bothered a, at home selling me stuff, trying thing. to scam well, I'll me. I'll tell you something. Given fake numbers and fake information, that sounds like something somebody would do wearing a Trump hat. I'm just saying. That sounds <laughs> Trumpish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you, see, you see how it, it got a, a free uh, get out of jail free card from, from That Roger was Stone. amazing. And listen, and he does it right in America's face. I mean, like... <laughs> You know, okay, we'll have the trial. Yeah, he's guilty, but guess what? He's not doing any time. I mean, God damn. Yeah. Well, that's what they did. He already did that to that sheriff, the one in Arizona that makes everybody live in tents. Yeah. He was found yeah. guilty, and then I believe he received a pardon, I think yeah. it was. So he got yeah. out of jail. It's crazy, yeah. man. It's crazy. Judge Apropos. And, and, Ar and what about Arabia? what about Trump saying yeah. that if the kids don't go to school, they're not going to give the school any money. What the hell is that? Yeah, and that's that not sounds, even in his in his authority. Hey, that that sounds better than defunding the police. Yeah, right. And now they're defunding schools, and now they're oh, beefing yeah, yeah. with Anthony so with uh, the Doctor no Fauci point. now. Yeah, I don't understand. What were you going to say, Barry? I said if you defund the schools, then you'll never have enough police. You need like a, a two trillion <laughs> uh, force <laughs> police force don't understand how you're gonna bully children going back to school like especially in florida our numbers keep going up yeah i think like by you and broward county it's like 96 yeah. percent occupancy in the icus at this point yep. yeah oh man and listen the corona is really wearing my mom down oh my god yeah oh every it's a day. no win <laughs> Yeah, every Corona's day. Corona's a no-win situation. There is no winning. There's now, a, like if you stay home from school, you suffer because you you have the emotional issues, the social issues. But if you go to school, you have the physical and death issues. So it's like there's no yeah. winning with this. And I know that as a private practitioner, I want to go back to seeing people in person. I'm not a big fan of doing online, but I also don't yeah. want my clients to get sick. Yeah, or you. <laughs> Or and, me. Yeah, yeah and, me as a, you know, I'm a pretty big, big, and, you know. And now they're closing down all the little things that they had begin to reopen down here. Pools are yeah. getting closed again, you know. Yeah, then you see, then you see the, the, the results, uh, 1,300 new cases overnight. So how about this? How about now they're sending the results straight to the to the government now? Yeah. So yeah. They don't go to CDC no more. So now, mm -mm. But, hey, I bet but you they, 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 the numbers start going down. <laughs> Hey, but there's always light at the end of the tunnel, something positive. The new cases have gone up, but the death rate has gone down. Oh, well, listen, they've always but got that a positive mean the spin. Have gone down. Sorry, go ahead. Here, the different news networks, right? I'm not going to say who this is or who this is, but here's, here's one. 
America now leads the world in COVID deaths. Per capita, America is only ranked ninth. Yeah. <laughs> it still doesn't matter. We're still ninth. We should have been ninth. What the hell is that? Oh, <laughs> there's just more people in America, and we're testing more. If we weren't testing as much, we wouldn't have as many positive tests. Not no, saying how many be. people would be sick. Yeah. I mean, damn. Yeah, and that. <laughs> That's the, and that was like, um, I read, a, I, I get a newsletter all the time about medical stuff because it contains mental health stuff. And they were talking about how the rate is inflated because people, some of the labs aren't um, uh, reporting their negatives, which means that of course it looks like there's much more positive. But the thing is, is the whole segment itself, the whole news story, kind of like it was come, it was misleading. Because it wasn't really explaining that it was. Are rates you saying it? Are you saying it was numbers. on? Excuse me. Are you saying it was on Fox News? Is that what you're saying? Yes, it was. It was actually on Fox News. Well, listen, <laughs> Fox News used to really piss me off until I realized that they were just joking anyway. So now it doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it. I was like, because they, they were saying like, oh, the numbers are skewed because they're not reporting their negatives. And I'm sitting there, like, what they're not explaining is it's not like the numbers of positives are lies. It's the rate, which is two entirely different metrics. It's like comparing apples and oranges, but they don't explain that. Uh oh. I was like, oh, you guys are shady. Read this is about shady to erupt. News. Look at yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, though, it's all about money. It's all about money. That's the reason everybody rush in, you know. People, people are, are, are losing money. The big companies are losing money because they can't they can't get their products out there. The small people are losing money because they can't work. And so, if anybody can get everybody back money in their pocket, when people got money in their pocket, they're happy. When they're happy, they vote towards the person that makes them happy. And I'll so tell you somebody that's what the whole thing is about. I'll tell you somebody who's not losing any money. Amazon. No, yes. Amazon. Oh yeah, I should have invested in them before this COVID thing, man. But let me all hey, let me ask you, let me ask you this question. All these protests are still going on. How is that helping COVID nineteen? It's not. That's why I'm not going out. Hey, I am not getting sick. What about the guy in Texas who attended a COVID party because he thought it was a hoax and it killed him? Yeah. <laughs> hey, famous last words. I made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> you think? <laughs> what? The yeah. Like and what's crazy media. is we, we keep pushing to open up, but all that means is that people are going to get sick and that's going to destroy our economy. It's exactly. COVID. It, no matter what we do yeah. with it, it's going to harm us. Yeah. Okay, but let me ask you, let's, hey, let's put it this way. Okay, if everybody get, uh, stays in place for six weeks or a month or whatever you want to call it, and the most restic restic restrictive measures, what's that going to do to our economy? What's the exactly. point of being? Well, I'll so, tell you what is. I know one thing it's going to do. I probably won't get the that, second stimulus check like I never got the first. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't get your first one. No. But what's interesting oh, is like how it. this is impacting. You breaking oh. up? Broke up. Who? I'm yeah, breaking up. Yes. Yeah, we couldn't hear you. Am I better now? Uh huh. Yeah. Country living. Um, bum, 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 bum. Exactly. So what I was saying was, is that it's different. It's weird how it's affecting different segments of the population economically. Like the housing market right now is really booming. Like people are buying houses because the interest rates are like nearly zero to to buy a house. So people that are working in healthcare that are getting all these overtime checks that are working so hard. They are really spending their money and buying up property. I would have thought it was different. Like somebody I know just bought a house and we were talking to the realtor and the realtor's like, oh no, this has been a great market. Yeah. I was like, really? Yeah. So it's not affecting everybody in a negative way. No, I mean, there's always, there's always the 5% that are going to profit from it. Okay. So, but you still haven't asked my question. What, what are we going to protest next? I don't want to I'm not in charge of protest. Why do you yeah. think I'm in charge of protest, Rebus? Okay, here, here, here's the thing. What about Black I'm, Lives I'm, Matter protests, Win Dixie? Boy, I'm glad time's running out on this segment. 
Yeah. Hey, because you, hey, Barry, remember I told you I was gonna explain it to you, right? Yeah. In the South, you had <laughs> Winnie Dixie because of the Confederate. It was Dixie, right? In the North, yeah. you had yeah. Grand Union stores. So if they pro, they knocking down all these statues in, about the Confederacy and the Confederate flag. Why don't they protest the Winn Dixie supermarket? I do because I don't go, so <laughs> I'm protesting. <laughs> I'm boycotting Win Dixie. In public, okay. it's too expensive. So, <laughs> and I'm yeah. and I'm I'm supporting the the South. You supporting the South? Yeah, I live, I live in the South, so I'm gonna support the South. Hey, you know, and that's what the people used to say during uh, <laughs> during the, the American Revolution. There, they, they used to say I'm, I'm doing the uh, Confederate War. I'm supporting the South because I live here. Yeah. <laughs> Did that make it right? Alrighty. Did that make it right? Well, I hope you guys found this segment entertaining. And if you did, Michelle's going to tell you what to do. Go ahead, Michelle. Tell All them right. what to do if they like it. If you have any questions or comments or anything that you would like to say, please go ahead, leave a comment in the comment section. If you or your loved one are experiencing any problems or issues with the Florida Department of Corrections and need some guidance about remedies, please go ahead and hit us up. Our contact information is in the about section. And if you want to contact any of us, once again, our information is in the about section down below. Yeah. All I think right. that's it. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye.